Hey guys, so second part, part two of an Asian beauty haul. We have Outlook, we have Amazon, eBay, we have the Misha website. So the first two things I'm gonna share with you are from Outlook. Outlook has been carrying so many Asian brands, which is so awesome, I, not Asian brands, Korean beauty, whether it be skincare or makeup. I wanna say once a month I see them do flash sales and it's awesome. So I have a Peri Para, um, Holy Deep, I don't know the shade name of this because it's in Korean, but I think Peri Para is by Club Clio and then Clio has its own thing too, right? Anyway, is there a sharpener? No, there is no sharpener on this one, but this is like a green kind of khaki color. And then the other one I have is called the Clio Gel Presso Waterproof Pencil and this is in Dark Choco. This one has a sharpener at the bottom and then this is also like a twist up. So I have swatches for you guys. The bottom is the Peri Para, and then the top is the Dark Choco from Clio. Sometimes you have to be careful because I feel like a lot of the Korean eyeliners, there might be, they do have matte ones and like shimmery ones, but these are like metallic ones, but sometimes there's a like glitter in them. It's fine glitter. I never find that they're like overly sparkly, but sometimes you have to be careful in case you really don't want that. Next is the Misha website. I think for Labor Day they did some kind of promotion. And then I think I had maybe like four or five dollars in there from like previous purchases. So because you can earn points whenever you purchase, which is great. I have the Misha Cotton Puffs. These are really good. I also, here, these came for free. Like this came as like a free thing with the purchase. So you have the hot burning salt body scrub and the hot burning perfect body gel. So it's kind of like contour your body and get rid of cellulite and stuff. I don't find that it really does that. I have had these before, but they came with these. And these are like, they're more like premier cotton pads. They feel more like pillows. Do you see how they're kind of like many layers? I love ones like this. So those things came for free, which is nice. Misha does a lot of great promotions. Anyway, so I got these puffs and then I got a white clay. Is it Cognac or Conjac sponge? The white ones usually are moisturizing and the black ones, when they say charcoal on them, are more for dry skin. So I like using the dry skin ones, the charcoal ones in the summer, and then I like getting these for winter. I don't use these necessarily super regularly. I'll pull one out and use it for a month and then you know forget about it and then remember how much I like it and buy another one, something like that. So these, my tip when you buy these, I see these at TG, I see these at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and like other places. Buy the ones that are damp or moist. If they're dry and like hard, granted yes, you can like put them under the faucet and like, you know, poof them up again, but I just feel like they're not the same. So the ones that are already moist, you can just, you know, put them under water. You can add a cleanser if you want, but I generally just use them without because I feel like they last longer without a cleanser and you just like hang it to dry and then the next morning, in the mornings, I love using things like this because I won't even use a cleanser or a cleansing water. I'll just wet the sponge and use that to clean my face in the morning because they're so gentle. They don't strip your skin of anything. This is the Real Lasting Pen Eyeliner. I feel like I had bought this before from them and I didn't like it. And I also, I don't like it this time either. So I thought maybe it, was, it would be better, but it's like kind of like an off black. It's okay. It was probably something I'll just put in my purse and use as a touch up, but I wouldn't recommend this one. I have the closing cover in shade two. This is just like a kind of like a corrector concealer palette. I have not tried this yet, so I cannot give you any feedback, but I'm very excited to try because the colors look very promising. This eyeshadow quad is what I have on the lids today. It's the Signature Velvet Art Shadow in Orange Champagne. Now, these colors aren't gonna be for everyone, but look at how pretty the packaging is. And I'm not even a sucker for packaging. This is not for everyone, but for people who do like shades like this, you'll love it. So this is the color combination you get in here. Now it's, I would say, a very unique combination. You have a really pretty matte peach, a crazy kind of like yellow golden orange, you have this color, which is like so up my alley. My, I have this all over the lid and on the lower lash line. And then you have this really beautiful glitter bomb. And I mean glitter bomb in like the best way. So these are the swatches. So, so the, they're so pretty. That glitter shade, it doesn't have very much fallout. Like it just sticks really nicely to your eyes, eyelids. And then the orange has a little bit of gold in it. And it's not as intense as you would think. And then the matte peach, super, super blendable. And of course it like kind of like, burgundy brown I don't know what you want to call it. it's a really beautiful color it's a color that I wear often 
it's very similar to one of the main shades in like the Milani Earthy Elements. Oh, my hair has no zhuzh. I'm losing zhuzh. Anyway, love this. I have it on the lids today. I have this kind of burgundy shade all over. And then in the crease, I have well, other, other colors, but love this. eBay was doing like a really great promotion. I think it was like $15 off a $75 purchase or something. So I was like, okay, this is a really great time to try some things that I've been wanting to try for a while. I have two shades of the Moist Creamy Concealer from Apu. I think that's how you pronounce it. I have shade number three, which is, or shade number two, which is called Vanilla. And then I have shade number five, which is called Sand. The consistency of these concealers is so good. They're like really smooth, really moisturizing. This is what they look like with just black packaging. The lighter shade is vanilla, and then of course the other one is sand. I just picked two shades because I wanted to combine them to either use under the eyes or on the face. Number five, I think will go fine on my face once my tan fades a little bit. They feel so good. I don't find that like on the face, because I love using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer on the face because it's extremely opaque and it stays on. This, it doesn't have that kind of opacity but it definitely can help with like you know dark spots not like active spots but like if you have like a fading scar something like this pat it in and then with a little bit of powder it looks really good now these perform excellent under the eye so i'm really excited for these um and i've only used them for maybe like on and off for a week so that's just like my first impressions for you guys this is by i don't know how to pronounce this i think it's ari tum a-r-i-t-a-u-m this is the styling eye palette and this is in shade two. Love. This is a beautiful fall palette. I already used this because I love it. <laughs> Those are the shades. So pretty, right? There's no matte shades. So you need to introduce your own crease color or transition, but the shades are beautiful and they perform well. Lovely. Next are these, oh, who makes these? They're called the Shine Fix Eyes. I feel like these are also by that same brand. I'll definitely like let you guys know below. So it comes in a pot. This is shade number 25. Do you even have words? Like, do you even know what to say about this? And this is 26. My nail kind of got into it, so that's why it looks imperfect. And those are swatches. Do you, like seriously, speechless. So incredibly beautiful right i can't even like do i even need to tell you anything so smooth so shiny so okay some more things from bbia i'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it um these i picked up off of again from that promotion so i have the last pen eyeliner this is that is swatched right there i don't think this is like phenomenal but it's definitely a good eyeliner it's not super black, um, but it, it's definitely good. It's not bad by any means. Very quickly, I promise it's like gonna be holy grail for me soon. It is such a good eyeliner. It's a pen liner and it's black and it's fluid, it stays on. I've used this for about a couple weeks and in love. This is the last auto gel liner. This is in the shade Noir P. This is has a sharpener on one end and it's like a twist up. This is in the shade Burgundy. And that's right there. I love these for the waterline. They look so beautiful. Especially like I tend to use like reds and browns. So I'm, I don't have it on today, but these are so good. I have like a whole bunch more to show you. If you watch the vlogs, you know that I picked up the Bohemian set as well as the Lady Edition set and I'm going to swatch these for you in a little bit. But first I'm going to share these with you. These are by Peri Para and they're the Holy Deep Jewel Pot. This one is in number seven. Number seven looks like. These are really, really soft. They're much softer than the ones I just showed you. And this is number eight. So there's number seven and there's number eight. I have to say, I feel like I like these better like the Ari Taum Taum or, oh my god I need to learn some Korean at least some basic pronunciation so if you had watched 
uh, there was a vlog that I did where I had swatched all of these for you so you might have already seen these but since this is the actual beauty video we're gonna swatch them again so if you don't want to watch that's what we're gonna do now this is called soul brown rose cocoa bohemian bronze brass miss classic tweed pink hippie brown sensual bronze lady brown if you love shades like this like warm browns reddish browns golden browns i love shades like this for the waterline so i love my like mac costa riche so much i just wanted to find more shades like this and some of these colors they're so like warm and like almost ready orange i've used them as lip liners they look really pretty so i just wanted to share that with you guys i feel like i don't even know where my brain is at now. i've been filming asian beauty videos all day it feels like because you know swatches and stuff takes some time i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you guys are loving and um i will talk to you guys really soon